Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. It's a monster weekend out here in Southern California with Saturday being the Big Cap Day at Santa Anita Park. While the Santa Anita Handicap did not come up as strong as usual, with the likes of California Chrome and Hopportunity amongst others opting to run for the $10 million purse in Dubai, several of the other stakes races came up very strong. The one that came up best to me is the seventh race on the card, the Grade 2 San Felipe. The three-year-old prep race for the annual run for the Roses has several runners that have their sights set on Churchill Downs the first Saturday of May. The field is led by number three, more spirit for Bob Baffert, who once again has a big shot at getting the Kentucky Derby with a chance. The the pricey son of Escondrea has done little wrong in his career with three wins in two seconds and five career starts. Most recently, he disposed of I Will Score and Uncle Lino late to win the Robert Lewis in professional fashion. He still looks to be getting better and has the pedigree that should be advantageous to him as they move forward at longer distances. I'm also very excited to see Smokey Image in his first start against Open Company. The California bred has been perfect thus far in six career starts, but the waters get deeper on Saturday for the Carla Gaines training. He does have the likes of Triple Crown jockey Victor Espinosa getting a leg up. That which should not hurt him whatsoever. I also look forward to seeing Danzig Candy, who has been brilliant in two starts at the San Anita Park meet, as he takes on Stakes Company for the first time. While his pedigree does not suggest he will be able to get the further distances, the way he looks on the track in the mornings and in the afternoon certainly does. It should be interesting to see how he does against the likes of more spirit and my top pick in the race, a horse that I absolutely love, Exaggerator. Exaggerator breaks well on Saturday from the outside the seven post and should sit a great trip under Kent DeSormo. There are a few things I like about Exaggerator in this spot and in general. First off, he's had success over different surfaces and different courses. He's won over the mud in Delta, at Delta. He's won in Southern California. And he won at Saratoga, which can be a very tricky race course when he won the Saratoga Special last summer. He's also had success over different distances, including a great effort last time out against Nyquist when he just wasn't able to run down the undefeated son of Uncle Mo in the stretch. He also has had success with different trips. Exaggerator has shown the ability to rate in many occasions, but has also shown if the pace is not quick that he can take the lead like he did in the Delta Jackpot under Kent DeSormo, which will bode well as he moves forward on the road to the Kentucky Derby. He also finally is in great form. Not only did he show that when he made an incredible three-year-old debut against Nyquist last time out, but also he's been training absolutely wonderfully in the morning. I would be very surprised if Exaggerator does not put forth a great effort on Saturday in the San Felipe. So we're not going to mess around. I think there's a lot of horses that could run second on Saturday to Exaggerator. We're just going to come with a nice, solid, strong win bet. Good old-fashioned win bet. So... Let's hope that on Saturday, Kent DeSormo can give one of his strongest rides of the year aboard his brother's horse, Exaggerator, in the Grade 2 San Felipe. We look forward to a big card on Saturday. Good luck to everyone, and have a great weekend.